Being in charge of a kingdom is a difficult task, not to mention if you have been governing it for many years. Well, Queen Elizabeth is not far from the definition of undoubtedly being the oldest queen to have ruled the United Kingdom. But beyond her rule, it stands to reason that she owned various belongings, from a large collection of possessions including luxury clothing, opulent estates, and the crown jewels. The queen is believed to have many more that we are unaware of. In this video, we'll unpack some of the most extravagant and luxurious possessions that the queen owned. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you can see more of the luxurious content we make. Now, here's 20 of the mind-blowing things Queen Elizabeth owned. Number 1. All of the Swans on the Thames River In England and Wales open seas, all swans that are unclaimed are theoretically the queen's property. An arrangement dating back to the 15th century divides her ownership between the worshipful company of vintners and the worshipful company of dyers. In addition, all of the swans are tallied during a five-day celebration known as Swan Upping every year. Number 2. Dolphins Around the UK King Edward II signed a law establishing monarchs as the legal owners of all whales, sturgeons, dolphins, and porpoises in the United Kingdom in 1324. Therefore, if you unintentionally catch one while fishing within three miles of the English coast, you must get in touch with the Buckingham Palace and present it to the Queen as a sign of fidelity. Number 3. Two Dorgies we all know how much the queen adored corgis, but after Willow, her last corgi, passed away in 2018, the queen inadvertently invented a new breed of dog. The Princess Margaret's Dutch Hound and one of her corgis mated, giving birth to the dorgi. Candy and Vulcan are the queen's current two dorgies, although it's questionable whether these dogs represented the first Dutch Hound and corgi cross. Number 4. Nearly all of Regent Street one of the most well-known streets in the world, Regent Street, is located in the west end of London. The street, which is 1.25 miles long and passes past Piccadilly Circus and Oxford Circus, draws more than 7.5 million tourists a year. The first specifically designed shopping thoroughfare in London was Regent Street. Today, it sells international labels from other countries like Kiehl's, Burberry, J. Crew, and Kate Spade. Number 5. The majority of the coastline in the United Kingdom In addition to owning land and buildings, the Queen also controlled half of the UK's coastline. The Queen owned the territorial seabed out to 12 nautical miles and around half of the coastline around England, Wales, and Northern Ireland according to the Royal Estate website. Number 6. A number of royal residences the Queen has more than one home, including Buckingham Palace with its 775 rooms. Windsor Castle, the largest occupied castle in the world, Holyrood Palace, a 12th century monastery in Edinburgh, Scotland that was converted into a royal palace, Hillsborough Castle, which covers 100 acres in Northern Ireland, the Sandringham Estate where the royal family celebrates Christmas, and Balmoral Castle, the Queen's preferred summer residence, are just a few of the opulent homes owned by the monarch. The Queen's personal belongings, which she inherited from her father, are the final two properties. Number 7. 200 or more loner handbags The Queen favored the high-end London designer loner for her handbags. She has over 200 of them, her favorites being the Royal and Traviata designs. You may have observed that the Queen seldom appears without her purse, which she also used as a communication tool with her servants. Number 8. A personal ATM The Queen won't be running around looking for an ATM if she ever needed access to money. In the basement of Buckingham Palace, the Queen had a personal ATM. Only the royal family can use this ATM, which is provided by Coates Bank. Number 9. The London Tower one of the most well-liked tourist destinations is the magnificent Tower of London, which William the Conqueror constructed in the 1070s. The crown jewels are kept in this building, which is officially known as Her Majesty's Royal Residence and Stronghold of the Tower of London. Legend has it that if six of the tower's seven resident ravens ever escape the castle, the kingdom and the Tower of London will fall. Number 10. 150,000 pieces of artwork Her Majesty held one of the biggest and most spectacular art collections in the entire world in her capacity as the monarch. 
Although she was only in charge of it, she didn't technically own it. Rembrandt, Rubens, and Raphael are just a few of the great whose work is featured in this collection. These pieces of art are hung in royal palaces and estates as well as on display in public museums. Number 11. Victoria, the Queen's Sketchbook it is a frequent custom to pass down personal items down the generations. The same applies to royal families, with the expectation that some of their items end up in the collection. The sketchbook kept by Queen Victoria is one such intriguing artifact. The great-great-grandmother of Elizabeth loved to paint. She frequently drew while she was at Balmoral. The sketches were not intended for public display, instead they were created for Queen Victoria's personal amusement. Number 12. An Equine Racing Squad The queens have long had a fascination for horses. The queen enjoyed horseback riding, but her affection goes beyond. She also made incredible bets on race horses. About 30 horses were being trained by the queen and they were all champions. Over the past three decades, her race horses have won her close to $9 million with 451 victories. Number 13. A collection of vehicles worth more than $10 million. It should come as no surprise that the Queen enjoyed driving as she served in the military during World War II as a mechanic and truck driver. Although the Queen was frequently photographed driving her Land Rover Defender, her collection of automobiles was thought to be valued about $10 million. Three Rolls Royces, two Bentleys, and a customized Range Rover LWB Londolet with a royal flag and an open-air top are a few of the vehicles in her collection. Number 14. A tiara with 1,333 diamonds on it. The tiaras, of which Queen Elizabeth had many, are arguably the best part of being a monarch. The diamond diadem, however, is undoubtedly the most well-known of her many items. The centerpiece of this beautiful tiara, a four-carat yellow diamond, is one of 1,033 diamonds that embellish it. Originally, George IV received the artwork for his opulent coronation in 1821. Every state inauguration of Parliament since 1952 had seen the Queen wear it. Number 15. A Vast Collection of Faberge Do you collect stamps, books, or coins? The queen, however, also had a variety of Faberge eggs and accessories. The custom of collecting eggs and other accessories created by the Russian jeweler and goldsmith Faberge was first initiated by Queen Alexandra and her husband, King Edward VII. It is a component of the royal collection and is thought to have 600 items as of this writing. Many items from the collection, including a blue cigarette box presented to Edward VII by one of his mistresses, Alice Keppel, have been made available for public viewing. It was given back to Keppel by Queen Alexandra after the king's passing. Number 16. The Westminster Abbey Because Westminster Abbey is regarded as royal property, the monarch owned it entirely. Every coronation since 1066 is among the most significant events in royal history that have taken place there. Royal nuptials, memorial rituals, and funerals. Number 17. Hyde Park Although the Queen formerly owned Hyde Park, it is quite improbable that you will ever see her wandering about. She also owned the Green Park, Regent's Park, and Kensington Gardens. Number 18. A Gold Record The only person to have received a gold disc without singing a single note must be the Queen. Party at the Palace, a concert featuring artists such as Elton John, Eric Clapton, Phil Collins, Paul McCartney, and Annie Lennox was recorded in 2002 to commemorate the Queen's Golden Jubilee. 100,000 copies of the record were sold in its first week of availability. The Queen was the first royal family member to receive a gold record from the music business. Number 19. A Group of Bats a group of bats have established a residence in the Balmoral Castle's main hall, making it their home as well. The queen may not mind the animal's presence because she loved animals so much. Bats like to fly around the home and the queen enjoyed catching them with a butterfly net. Additionally, she alerted her employees to them so they can also capture them using nets. Number 20. Largest Clear-Cut Diamond in the Entire World 
The largest clear-cut diamond in the world, the Great Star of Africa, often known as Cullinan after South African mining tycoon Sir Thomas Cullinan, is estimated to be worth $51 million. Elizabeth II's grandmother, Mary of Tech, received this diamond and a number of smaller stones cut from a massive diamond discovered in South Africa five years earlier in 1910. The 530-carat diamond is currently a part of the crown jewels which belong to the crown and was later placed into the sovereign scepter, a three-foot-long gold staff originally built for Charles II. What other possession do you think Queen Elizabeth owned? If you were to be a queen, what are you most likely going to have? Share it with us in the comments. If you find this video entertaining, feel free to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell so you wouldn't miss any upcoming videos. This has been Luxury Point, serving you the best luxurious lifestyle.